Hey there guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to do something different other than movie related videos. I really wanted to talk about a topic that's been in my head for so many years and that's Red Dwarf Series 1. Now Red Dwarf is the greatest science fiction comedy of all time and it's definitely in my top 20 favourite shows of all time. And it's still going to this date with Series 12 coming in this October. There are so many reasons why I love Red Dwarf, the characters, the comedy, the stories, the science fiction concepts. But if there was one thing I really despised in Red Dwarf, that's the first series, Series 1. As a massive fan of Red Dwarf, Series 1 is the series I struggle with. It took me over 10 years to give it a rewatch. It's my least favourite series of all time. I will say the end, which is the first ever episode of Red Dwarf, is enjoyable. And the second episode, Future Echoes, is an interesting episode. A lot of Red Dwarf fans would consider Series 7 or Series 8 or Back to Earth or Series 10 to be the weakest Red Dwarf series of all time. I can personally understand, but I can get through one of those series in like a day. With Red Dwarf Series 1, I'm lucky to get through that a week. Let's start with the things I really don't like about Red Dwarf Series 1. Obviously, it suffers the problems like other great TV shows have with their Season 1. It's a basic format. And some of my favourite TV shows of all time had a basic Season 1 format. Smallville, Power Rangers, Avatar The Last Airbender. Getting their feet off the ground and learning what works and what doesn't work with their characters and storylines. If you compare Series 1 to Series 2, it's a massive improvement on every level. And Series 2 is one of my favourite seasons of Red Dwarf. Let's talk about the main problems of Series 1. The first problem is it looks really dull in terms of the set designs. It's all grey. I know they're trying to go for like a submarine look, but obviously it looks like a television studio. The second problem is that Red Wolf Series 1 is so self-contained. You're very restricted and I know it's because of budgets, I can personally understand that. But I think there's only like three set designs that they're only limited to. And every episode feels very same-ish. There's nothing groundbreaking between each episode apart from the first two. And the comedy was just really dull. I really wasn't laughing that much. I think Holly kind of stole the show in every episode. Very limited with the characters. You've got Lister, Rimmer, the cat, and Holly. And I'm not sure the writers knew how to handle the characters at the time. Lister and Rimmer despise one another. They can't stand each other. But when you go to series two, they still despise each other, but they show a respect for each other. Back to reality is the best example. And the cat really didn't do anything. He was just really annoying. He just went like, Aah! was just there in the background, really. But in series two onwards, he felt like a main character. Is there anything I liked about series one? Well, yeah, there are a few things. I liked the crew before they got wiped out, Christy Kotansky and Lister's best friends. I like the captain of the ship who returns back in series 8. Holly is hilarious. The first two episodes are pretty enjoyable and I can get through them. The rest I can't get through. Personally, for my preference, just watch the first two episodes, The End and Future Echoes, then go straight to series 2. You're going to have a great time. If you really like series 1, all the power to you and I personally respect that. But this is subjective, so this is just my opinion, so respect it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what is your favourite season of Red Dwarf and what is your least favourite season. Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.